layering a basic green mix. This is a recipe that we use throughout colour pencil work, which is basically to choose a main colour, in this case chromium green opaque 174, a slightly darker colour, in this case um, chrome green oxide 278. These are all Faber-Castell polychromos and then a lighter green, earth green, yellowish 168. Now that's my basic green mix. Now I need a shade colour and for this particular mix, which is fairly dark, um, I'm choosing a warm grey 5, number 274. And then to do the final smoothing of the colour, I've chosen the Lyra Rembrandt Splendor Pencil. So this is the grey going on, the warm grey 5, and I've pressed very heavily here in the darker area and as I work towards the rather away from the, the darker area I'm pressing less heavily using little shallow ellipses so it's that kind of a stroke shallow ellipses I'm just going to work over the surface of the paper changing direction um, and changing the pressure as I move into the lighter area. This next section has this same grey underneath from heavy to light and over the top I'm putting the darkest green in my mix which is number 278. So again pressing very heavily here over the grey and then moving into the white paper but just coming a little bit further as if working towards an imaginary highlight. This next layer is the chrome, chromium green opaque, number 174, which would be the main colour in my mix. So if I was doing a leaf, for instance, this would be my main colour and it would go virtually everywhere except in any highlights. So I've gone over the grey and the darker green and then I've moved again a little bit further towards an imaginary highlight. So the colour gets deeper, richer and then lighter. And now the final colour in my green mix is earth green yellowish number 168 and again I'm pressing very heavily in the darker areas and less heavily um, as I come through towards the lighter areas. So throughout the layering up you maintain that contrast between the darker areas and the lighter areas. But as you can see, as I've added the colours, the grey has been absorbed but it's darkened the mix without showing through. If the grey was too dark, it wouldn't darken the mix, uh, sorry, it would, it would darken the mix and it would show through too strongly. If the grey is too light, which is usually uh, the mistake that most um, beginners make because they're a bit tentative and they maybe don't put very much on and as soon as you start to layer up the colour it gets absorbed and disappears so you've wasted your time. So you need to work out first before you start layering on any colour how much of your shade colour you're going to need to darken this particular mix in the shadow. So you need to test that out first, always, before you start work. If by any chance it's not dark enough, you can always repeat the whole process again and put some more or even darker colour on here and then you layer up your mix again. But whenever you add more of the grey, you have to add more greens. And then finally, because the 
colour is still a bit grainy here in the lighter areas. It's picking up the grain of the paper because I haven't been pressing very heavily. I'm going to burnish and I'm using the Lyra, Rembrandt Lyra Splendor Blender, which is um, a clear wax blender pencil. And I'm going to press very heavily. So it's one of the pencils that you don't need to sharpen to a very sharp point. And as I press, it pushes the paper, the, sorry, the colour into the dips in the paper and smooths it all out and makes it look much more like paint. So these are very useful pencils to have. And there are several good makes on the market, but this is the one that I like to use for greens. And there you have it, a simple layering through from the dark grey to a full mix.